Hey, let's talk about how to tow an F-150 behind your Class C motor home. Hey, let's talk about how to tow an F-150 behind your Class C motor home. I've been pulling an F-150 with my Class C motor home just over two years. And invariably, it never fails when I, when I pull into a fuel station, truck stop, or whatever to, to get gas. People just, they're amazed. Uh, <laughs> they're always like, you actually pull that F-150 with that Class C? I do, and it, it works out really well because I have the right formula. And that's, that's the thing you must know is when you're asking the question how to tow an F-150, you got to know that it requires a formula and the right setup. In this video, I'm going to show you my setup that I use when I tow my F-150. And it starts with the numbers. My motorhome, my Class C motorhome, weighs 16,000, just a, just a hair over 16,000 pounds. And I actually can pull just under 7,000 pounds. And I know that by looking at the combined vehicle weight rating numbers, and I've subtracted the weight of the motorhome from the gross combined vehicle weight rating number for the motorhome. And that leaves me with 6,800 pounds that I can tow here. And then we have a receiver hitch down here. This is your receiver hitch. And my receiver hitch is weighted, has a weight rating of 7,500 pounds. You can see the number right there, 7,500 pounds. So now we know what the motor home can pull. We need to find a vehicle that weighs inside of that weight rating. Now my F-150 is a 2018 XLT four wheel drive. In 2018, this was the only full-size pickup on the market that could be flat-toed. That may not be the case today. When we're, whenever you're watching, things can change. But when I bought the F-150, it was the only full-size truck on the market that could be flat-toed, and it comes equipped from Ford in that configuration. It must be a 4x4, four four, a four-wheel drive, because it is the transfer case we are talking about how to tow an F-150. You can see I've, I've relocated. Hopefully we won't have as much noise interference over here. The transfer case that allows for the, for the, the flat tow, the four wheel down towing. And the F-150 came, e comes equipped from the factory with a flat tow mode. And here is how you put it into the flat tow mode. Now that the F-150 is connected to the motorhome with the tow bar and the umbilical, we're going to put the F-150 in, into tow mode. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the key. I use a dummy key. This doesn't have a chip in it, so it will not start the F-150, but what it will do is allow It allows the ignition, the switch, to be turned on, but it will not start. So to put the F-150 in flat tow mode, we turn the ignition on, put our foot on the brake, put the gear selector into neutral. We're gonna take the electric transfer case switch that allows us to switch into a four-wheel drive electronically. We're going to go from two high to four low, five times seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the dash, it says neutral toe enabled. And we are ready to go. So we're going to leave the gear selector in neutral, turn the key off, and that key will stay in the ignition while we're driving 
until we reach our destination. Once we've arrived at our destination and we're ready to disconnect the truck, first thing I always do is put the electric emergency brake on, shift into neutral or shift from neutral to park, and then turn off the ignition and remove my dummy key. And then put in the actual key and start the truck. And neutral toe is disabled. And now we're back in drive mode. Now that you have your F-150 and you know that you can tow your F-150 with your motor home, then all you need is the right equipment to make that possible. So there's three things you must have to, to tow your F-150. The first one is, of course, a tow bar. You have to have some way to connect the, the motor home to the F-150. Then you have to have some way to connect the tow bar to the F-150, and that's the base plate. So I'm using a Dimco tow bar. I really, I like this configuration. And by the way, links for all of these products can be found in the description below. That'll take you to the Amazon, my Amazon page. Uh, it doesn't cost you any more, but it, it does fund the channel with a, 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 a few pennies. So I like the Dimco tow bar for a couple of reasons. One is you always want your tow bar to be perfectly horizontal or as close to horizontal as you can get. The Dimco tow bar can be turned over. So when it was first installed, the tow bar ran downhill. And we ended up putting a two inch leveling kit which are spacers in here, see that red. So I raised the front of the truck, I raised the front of the F-150 by two inches, and that got it closer to, to level, uh, but it was still sloped, the tow bar was still sloping, so I flipped that over and have gotten it closer to level now. The base plate connects to the truck frame connects to the frame of the F-150 where the tow hooks once were, were originally located. So that's our physical connection. That brings us to the point of actually connecting the F-150 to the motor home so that we can really see how to tow an F-150. So let me pull the truck up and we'll get to it. Now I've stopped the truck. I didn't want to run into the, the back of the motor home. And the beautiful thing about the Dimco tow bar is that it's actually adjustable. So the arms, they lock in place for when it's not connected. But each arm extends out. By law, you have to have safety cables, emergency brake, and with the Dimco base plate and tow bar, it's a little, little different than some of the others on the market. And that it's each bar is individual. And then we plug, pick up power, and then we repeat on this side.
hands get dirty. So yes, your hands may get a little dirty doing this process. So now we're connected. The next thing we need to do is, is lock the tow bar arms. And the way we do that is we just back the truck up straight back. And now that we've got the tow bar connected, locked into place, we have our power connection from the motor home to the F-150. Now we need to put the F-150 into flat tow mode. If you're traveling out west, Arizona, New Mexico, California, most of those western states, it, it's mandatory that you have a braking system in your tow vehicle. And it's always a good idea to have uh, a braking module in, if you're towing a vehicle, even if it's a small one. You want to have the ability to stop that vehicle, especially if it breaks loose, which is what the little curly thing is. That's an emergency brake switch. So if for, so if for some reason the tow bar fails, the brakes will be applied on the truck and it won't become a hazard rolling down the road by itself. That brings us to the third piece of equipment required to tow your F-150, and that is the braking module. There are two different types of braking modules available. One is integrated into the vehicle. The other one is a removable. It actually sits in the floorboard. Uh, it's inertia operated, so when, it sense, when the sensor determines that the vehicle is slowing down, the brakes are gradually applied. I wasn't comfortable with that option. I chose to go with the integrated so that I controlled the brakes when I put my foot on the brake pedal. It works just like trailer brakes, electric trailer brakes. It's called the Stay and Play Duo. But the Stay and Play Duo that I'm using is electrically operated so when the brakes brake lights come on it activates the braking module which in turn which in turn presses the brake pedal here so that's how the equipment works on when you're towing your F-150. There are some considerations to keep in mind when you're rolling down the road. And the first one is, don't forget that you're pulling. <laughs> don't forget that you, you're towing an F-150. Your turns need to be a little bit wider. It actually tracks extremely well. Uh, it, it, I don't, you don't have to turn real wide, but I, I, I typically go a little bit wider on my turns. Uh, just to be on the safe side. So when you're learning how to tow an F-150, it I thought it would be a good idea for me to give you a visual perspective of what it looks like from the driver's seat in the Class C motorhome, Ms. V, as we make a couple of turns in my neighborhood. So it's a, it's a good idea to practice how to tow an F-150. So. Let's get to it. Go a little bit wide. All right, and now we're gonna make a left-hand curve. Left-hand curves don't require as much width because there's not a, a curb to drop off of. All right, so that is what you need to know when you're learning how to tow an F-150. With any motorhome, you always want to remember the tail sweep. So you, you know, normally with a vehicle, your, your rear end is about that far removed from the rear tire. But on a motorhome, of course, you've got the much longer. And so when you turn, that goes wide. And that will influence how you tow your F-150. 
just keep that in mind. Take us some practice. Drive around a deserted neighborhood to get some practice. So that pretty well covers how to tow a F-150. With the equipment necessary to make it possible on the truck to stop the truck and to connect to the, the motor home. I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. If you found it to be of value, click on that thumbs up. Share it across your social media. I would really appreciate that. If this is your first visit, please remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Y'all come back now, you hear?